Today I'm installing this projector I bought on Amazon here in my garage. All right guys, so today again, we're gonna be working here in the garage and we're gonna be working on installing this projector. So I bought this on Amazon completely, not sponsored at all. I bought this with my own money. So I will give an honest review of this, really kind of like a no-name brand, but I did make sure I got one that said it was native 1080p. So some of the cheaper ones only say they're native 720. So I tried to get a native 1080 to uh, improve the quality a little bit. Also tried to get one that was a little bit brighter since I will be here in the garage and a lot of times, you know, it's bright in here during the day. So you want something with a good amount of brightness so you can still see it during the day. This projector was only about 85 bucks. It came with a screen that I think is 100 inches. They claim the projector can go up to 200 inches. I'm sure it gets a little bit less bright at that range, but we will test it out at every size basically. I think with where I'm gonna be installing it, it'll end up being more like 100 inches or 120, but I definitely wanna check how the quality is the whole way up at 200 inches. And so it looks like it came with a remote, some HDMI cables. My plan is to plug a fire stick into the back of it because it has an HDMI input and then just use it like that, like a smart TV basically. And then I also bought this mount separately, uh, also not sponsored, but I will put links to both of these. So I wanted to get like a pole style mount for the ceiling because I know I wanted to drop it down some because my ceiling is very high. So I wanted to drop it down a little bit from the rafters so that I can point it where I want. And so this pole mount is an adjustable one that's anywhere from 15 inch to about 24 inches. And so this projector is also able to be just sat kind of like on the ground, I think. And we'll see how the adjustment goes to fix the uh, skewing and everything. I think it says something like 15 degrees in both directions. So that's kind of crucial when you're uh, not pointed straight at a wall, you need to fix that skewing. And I think that's what these adjustments are here. And so if you saw my last video, we installed the speakers and the couch up here on the loft in the garage. And I'm really happy with how that went. The speakers sound amazing here in the garage, basically zero echo and the couch, pretty simple, but a nice place to sit as well. So the goal here is to be able to project onto this wall. It's a nice white wall. So then it will look great when you're up here on the loft hanging out. But my other thought is to also be able to project it over here onto this wall right here so that when I'm down here working, I can also have uh, something up there and be able to see it when you're down below. Because if you're down here, you could kind of see it up here probably, but it'd be a little bit blocked by the railing and a little far away. So my thought is to mount the projector somewhere up in this region. So basically I can have it pointed at this wall, but then also when I'm not up here on the loft, I can just rotate it 90 degrees and then it will point down onto this wall. And for my measurements, if I do put it in that area, it should be about a hundred inch screen on this wall and about a 120 inch screen on this wall. But first up, like I said, to test it out, I'm gonna put it down here and project it onto this huge wall to really see if we can get to 200 inches and see what the quality's like. All right guys, so I got it on this wall. There's some daylight leaking in for sure, but I did turn the lights off, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my fire stick so we can actually watch something and see how it looks. And one other reason I purchased this specific projector is it has Bluetooth capability to connect to speakers. So when I put it up here, I will be connecting to my good speakers up there, but for now, uh, it will be just coming out of the speakers that are built into the projector. So, and I will say the picture looks a little better in real life, a little brighter, but the camera right now is kind of doing some auto exposure. So it's a little better, but uh, we can watch this clip and see how it looks. But yeah, in reference, you can kind of see how big this image is compared to my garage.
Yeah, so I'd say I'm pretty impressed by this. I think it is a little better than I thought, especially here at its max size. So I am out about 21 feet from that wall, which gives you, a, they say, about a 200 inch screen. I'm gonna measure it here to see what we really have. It's 100 inches to right there. Yep, and that is right at 100 inches. So we are exactly at a 200 inch screen right there. Overall, it's a little bit uh, dark in the corners, like the upper corners, but overall, pretty good quality, especially for the max size. So now I'm gonna start looking at how I can get it mounted to the ceiling in the proper location. All right guys, so I just got the screen hung up here over my workbench. It's looking pretty good. I was able to uh, stretch it out. I basically used some screws and a small bit of chain to make sure I got it stretched so there's no wrinkles. And so all I did was rotate the projector. And since it's not perfectly centered in the screen, I did zoom in the whole way to minimize uh, the effect of the angle. And it does look pretty good, it's pretty straight. Uh, if you have that angle too great, it's going to be way too hard to focus. I did also get the projector hooked up to my speakers with Bluetooth, and that seemed to work fine. So now that it is nighttime, I'm going to shut the rest of the lights off in the shop and we can see how it looks. And so now when I want to watch it up on the loft, all I have to do is reach out here and rotate it 90 degrees and then basically just make some slight adjustments until it looks right on the wall. And so now when it's up here, I can actually zoom it back out so it can be basically the whole size of the wall. And then the only other thing I have to do is make a slight adjustment to the focus to make sure it's nice and sharp. As you can see, I think it looks a lot better up here on the loft. I think it helps that it's really a straight shot from where I have the projector mounted straight to the wall. So once you have it focused upright, it looks really clean. I just measured that and that is a 130 inch screen. So I'd say this is pretty impressive for something that large. Now I threw one set of lights on and I'm over in the opposite corner of the garage for some perspective of how large that image is. So yeah, that's 130 inches. So I'm really happy with how clean that looks. So it's now the next day. It's a little rainy and overcast today. So there's some light leaking in, but not as bad as yesterday. I have the lights off in the garage. And so you can see how this looks. I'd say it looks really good. I did notice one challenge with this projector is to get it evenly focused the whole way across. Of course, you're trying to perfectly angle it so that it is exactly parallel to the wall you're projecting onto. But uh, you can kind of see here, the uh, left side is a little bit more out of focus and then the middle is in focus and then the right side a little bit out of focus again. Not too bad, but I was expecting things like this with a projector that's under $100. So there it is, that is the projector install. So it was pretty easy install, it took me a few hours. I did have to add some supports here. I'm just going to the structure of my building. So I had to add this two x four to uh, get it down to the same level as this other two x four. 
And then this is a two by six because this uh, mounting plate wouldn't quite fit on a two by four. So I just used some scrap I had and cut it to the correct length. And the reason why I placed it exactly right here is so that I can still easily reach out and turn it and make the adjustments that are under here. I could even press the buttons on the bottom, but I don't really need to because it does have a remote. And I do have the pole extended the max amount, which is about 24 inches, as I said. So that gets it nice and straight with this wall and brings it down enough that I can then get it down onto this projection screen as well. And overall, I have about $100 in the whole project, so I would say this is completely worth it. Like I said, not the highest quality projector, but for the cost, it's definitely exceeded my expectations. And now that I have all this uh, set up, I have the mount and everything, I can always upgrade to a better projector in the future. But if you are interested in this projector and the mount, I'll link it down below. So that's going to be it for today. Let me know what you guys think of the new projector and loft setup.